Welcome back to Screen Salutes. I'm Chris, and we're back to deep dive into Sunny Episode 3. In this video, we're going to discuss why the Yakuza are so focused on Susie, what clue the Junk League battle told us about Sunny, and at the end, I have a question about Massa and Zen's plane crash alibi that I want your thoughts on. So by this point, it's obvious Susie is being surveilled by the Yakuza around the clock, whether by the Yakuza henchman with his home bot or by the older man following them in the truck, who also gets the details of their conversation from the guy at the um, toy store. But why? Why do they care so much about Susie? Well, they don't. I think they're watching her so closely because they're waiting for Massa to make contact with her again, because they want the code that Massa terminated after the Yellow Room battle. And since the guy being... Um, persuaded to talk in the opening scene, has the same look as the man Sonny, Susie, and Mixie meet with to get information about the Dark Manual, the Yakuza seem to be aggressively questioning anyone that may have ties to the hacker world to find out the information they want. But why is this code so important? Because it allows for homebots to harm humans, which we know from the Junk League battle they are not supposed to be able to do. And we see this programming in action when the man jumps in front of the battle bot mid-attack and he's not harmed. The other battle bot stands down. But this scene is the perfect parallel for the scene in episode 1, when the man who is deleted comes between the two home bots and is bludgeoned by the attacking home bot, who had the additional lines of code. And this episode strongly hints on two occasions that Sunny has been provided the same code. The first time is when she tells Susie that she would have already hurt her if that was her plan, which is an odd thing to say if she's programmed to not be able to hurt humans. And the second time is when Sunny is able to push the Yakuza woman, which she should not be able to do unless she's programmed differently than the other robots. Also, fun fact, her wearing a prosthetic finger likely means that she must have committed a serious crime in the eyes of the organization because members in Japan may chop off their fingers as a form of atonement. But what about Sunny? How advanced is she? Based on her ability to dream and how self-aware she seems, did Massa cross a threshold in AI? Is Sunny more than just a homebot that is dependent on her programming to think? She sure does seem like she has her own inner thoughts. Now, it's hard to tell, but like we mentioned in the last episode, she seemed to recognize a man in Emotech, which would have predated her two-day-old memory, and she often shows emotions when she's alone, especially when Susie's in trouble. So, personally, I think it'd be a cool twist if Sunny was actually sentient, and we find that out later in the series. And how about Massa's mother almost calling a contact labeled Do Not Answer? It seems unlikely this is Massa, but it could be the friend that Massa told Susie about during their first date, the person he met online while he was working through his seclusion period. And this person may have played a key role in the dual identity Massa has when he finally re-entered society. That brings me to my question about the plane crash alibi. At this point, it seems likely that Massa and Zen faked their own deaths, but that begs the question, how did Massa know the plane would crash? Did Massa cause the deaths of dozens of innocent people in order to make his and Zen's deaths more convincing? Because if that's true, it takes Massa's character from someone who might be doing some less than reputable things on the hacker front to an actual murderer, and that changes his entire character, the dynamic that he has with his wife, everything. And that will wrap up this deep dive. As usual, we want to hear your thoughts. And if you have questions that we didn't cover, drop them in the comments so we can discuss them. And if you like what we're doing, let us and the algorithm know by liking and subscribing. It's a huge help. We really appreciate it. Until next time, stay sleuthy.